Let's see if we can get this bird off the Good morning, pilot. Today you will learn how to launch the F-14B Tomcat from a carrier. Today's procedure will be according to the Case 1 departure pattern. You should consult the briefing diagram before the flight. The Case 1 departure from the carrier is used during fair weather conditions. After launch, you will execute a clearing turn away from the carrier with a 20 degree heading change and then turn back towards the ship's base recovery course, or BRC. You will maintain 500 feet or below and an airspeed of about 300 knots. At a distance of seven nautical miles from the carrier, you're free to climb and proceed on to your mission. This pattern will allow deconfliction with recovering and circling aircraft around the carrier. Tune the TACAN to 74 X-ray and make sure the TACAN is selected as the steering source on the PDCP. You may now turn the course knob on your HSD to correspond to the ship's BRC, which will aid you in keeping the correct radial from the ship during the departure. In this case, the BRC is 325 degrees. Note that your HUD and BDI, as well as BDHI, may indicate deviations as large as 30 degrees. This is due to the carrier's magnetic field which disturbs our instruments and can vary depending on our position on the ship. The magnetic deviation will clear it by itself shortly after takeoff or by pressing and holding the heading knob on the compass control panel while flying straight and level. Press spacebar to continue. You will launch off of Catapult 3 on the waist, just like the Tomcat to your left. Turn on nose wheel steering and taxi up behind the catapult. You can use differential braking to reduce the turn radius. You will have to carefully line up the aircraft with the catapult track to avoid any problems during launch. Line up the red marks on the side of the ship with your left shoulder. Once in position, in order to hook up to the catapult, you will have to kneel the nose wheel by pressing the nose thrust switch downward. Press U to hook up to the catapult. Once you are hooked up, the jet blast deflector behind you will be raised. Press space bar to continue.
Move the wing sweep handle forwards to about the halfway point, then lower the handle to lock it in. Close the cover. Press master reset to allow the wing sweep controls on the throttle to function. Set the wing sweep to auto. Lower the flaps. Set trim to about 2 degrees nose up. Press spacebar to continue. Advance the throttles to mill, max drive thrust. In the F-14B, carrier launches are made with military power only. If you need to, add afterburner only at the very end of the cat launch. Execute a clearing turn to the left with about a 20 degree heading change and then immediately turn right onto the BRC. Raise the landing gear and flap. Oh, we did it. Didn't do too well on that launch though. <laughs> sort of took off. Uh oh. <laughs> Pretty fun. Try to shoot somebody down. 